Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing extremely well. So, in the previous couple of videos, we have learned about a Dijkstra's algorithm, if you remember, and we solved it using a priority queue and a set data structure. And there were a bunch of questions uh, revolving around your head. Why priority queue? Because even if we take a queue data structure, it does work. The time complexity I stated was E log V. Why E log V? A proper derivation of that. What is the intuition behind Dijkstra's algorithm? That was another question that might would have come to your head. So I'll discuss all of these three points in this particular video. So coming across to the first question, why a priority queue or a set? Because even if we take a queue data structure, we do get the answer. So let's take this particular graph and this will be the corresponding adjacency list. So let's try this algorithm with, with a queue data structure and a distance array. Okay. So we're given the source zero. So apart from zero, everything we can initialize as infinity, right? So source is put as zero and it'll put zero comma zero in the queue data structure. Let's take zero comma zero out. So zero at a node zero. Where can node zero go? Node zero can go to node one and node two. Remember first node one, then node two, first node one, then node two. So if you try to go to node one, the distance taken will be three and the updated distance will be three. So I can update this with three and I can say three comma node one, right? And if I try to go here, it'll take a distance one and the distance will be one. So this will be one. I will like one comma two is what I'll put into the queue. Now remember, it's not a priority queue. It's a queue data structure. So we get the next element with a distance of three and a node of one. Where can one go? One can go to node zero by taking a distance of three, which will make it a distance of six, not to be considered. One can also go to node three and that will take a distance of four, which makes it a total distance of seven update seven and put seven comma three in the queue. So this is also done. Now let's take the next element. The next element comes out to be one node equal to two. Now where can two go? Two can go to node zero with another one, which makes it a distance of two, not to be considered. Two can also go to node three with a distance of two, which makes it a total distance of three. So node three is having a better version three. So three comma three perfect next so the point of observation observation one whenever you add three now you came by one path which took you something like three plus four seven so seven comma three is there and you came by other path one plus two which is three so three is also there so there are two paths which are there now if you would have used priority queue you would have actually dealt with just three like this path instead of dealing with this path. Now, since you're dealing with a queue, you'll end up dealing with seven comma three, which is a bit of time consuming. Okay. And now three can go to one, which will take it four and makes it a total distance of 11. Three can go to two as well, which will take it a distance of two, which will make it nine. Both of them will not be considered. And then it can go to four which will take a distance of two, which will make it a distance of nine. So nine comma four, it can also go to five, which will take him a distance of one. So the total distance will be eight, five will be eight, so eight comma five. Perfect. So done. Next, we'll just omit everything. And next we'll come up with the next guy, three comma three. So again, we have no three. Now, zero will not be there. Two will not be there because these things are not possible. Like you, you can't go back to there because the distance will be more. But when I try to go to four this time, it takes a two, which makes it a better distance of five. So four got a better distance of five comma four, right? And you can also go to five, which will be plus one, which makes it a distance of four. So five can also be uh, done with four, uh, four distance. So this is done. Did you see something? Unnecessary occurrence. Did you see something? I can reach five using four, but there is still an occurrence of 
8 comma 5. I can reach uh, 4 with 5, but then there is still an occurrence of 9 comma 4. Why did that happen? Because you also considered this path. You also considered this path. Then you came and considered this and this. Had you used a priority queue instead of this, then this 7 comma 3 would not have been considered. This 7 comma 3 would not have been considered and you would have considered just 3 comma 3 at the first. So afterwards when 7 comma 3 would have arrived, it would have not found shorter distances. That's why using the minimal distance is preferred so that you don't encounter a lot of paths. So you're just doing a brute force if you use Q data structure. You're going on all paths, all paths, all paths, and then figuring out the minimal. And I'm like, I'll go, but I'll be like greedy. I'll go to the minimal first, minimal first, minimal first, so that I can mark all the minimal that I can reach. Then I'll go to the other guys. That's why a minimal is important. Otherwise, you end up exploring too many paths. It will give you the answer. I'm not saying that it won't. It did give you over here, but you're exploring too many paths. Unnecessary occurrence of these guys unnecessary exploration of paths, unnecessary iterations. So I hope I was able to explain you why a queue is not preferred because it takes a lot more time complexity. I hope the intuition is also clear now because of priority queue. We always travel to the minimal guys first and we explore minimal, 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 and we ultimately have reached all minimals. Since we are doing a traversal thing, we reach minimals always cool. What's the next thing? The time complexity. Why the time complexity is E log V, where E is total number of edges, very, very important total number of edges, and V is the number of nodes. Why is that? So, is this the pseudocode of priority queue? It is. This is how the pseudocode of the priority queue looks like. So, I'm saying while P, Q dot not empty. So, at max, I can say that this loop will go through all the nodes, which is V at max like twice or thrice it won't go like a lot of times because you're following the greedy strategy of going to every node every minimal node so i can say this while loop is going to run for the total number of nodes which is v so i can say this probably will run for v right so v into the entire thing v into this entire thing correct so v into what this is going to take a logarithmic of heap size heap size very important logarithmic of heap size at the worst case this is number of edges this is number of edges of every node number of edges of every node let's take the densest like the dense uh, the most dense graph where if there are four nodes for an example this is one node this is connected to everyone and this guy is also connected to this this and this this guy is also connected to this, this, and this. This guy is also connected to everyone. So this is the most dense node where everyone is having n minus one nodes. Every guy is connected to all other nodes possible. That is the most dense graph possible if you avoid self loops. I don't want self loops. I want this guy connected to everyone. I want this guy connected to everyone. I want this guy connected to everyone. Got it? I want this guy connected to everyone. That is what you call as a dense graph. So I've taken dense graph and I'm saying any. Any is what this will iterate at the worst case. What can be any if I ask you? If every guy is connected to all the nodes, how many nodes can one have? So can I say it'll be V minus one? Because if you see, this guy is connected to three in four nodes. One E himself, other three. So V minus one. So I can say this will run for at max V minus one. And then there is an up a conditional check, which is okay. And then there is another push, which will go for log of heap size. Understood? Perfect. Till now. So if I write it properly, can I write it something like this? V in overall into pop vertex from min heap number of edges on each vertex into push into the priority queue isn't it this and then any into push correct so if i go across and try to write it you know write this as v into pop log of heap size 
plus any into log of heap size. I can. I'll go. And can I say any is nothing like can I just take logarithmic of heap size to be common? I can. And if I take logarithmic of heap size to be common, I'll have any plus one. Yes. Perfect. Next. I figured out what was any. Any was v minus e because at max, everyone can have v minus one adjacent nodes at max. So can I replace this with something like v minus one? So minus one and plus one will go. So will it be like v into v into logarithmic of heap size? It will be, which is nothing but v square into logarithmic of heap size. Indeed. Now, what is this heap size? We need to figure this out. What is this heap size? So when we are taking a priority queue, when we are taking a something like a priority queue, yes, whenever we are taking something like a priority queue, at the first step, if this guy goes to this, 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 and finds everyone to be having a smaller distance, it will indeed push three nodes. It will indeed push three nodes. This guy will end up pushing three nodes. Then what do you do? You take out this first guy and imagine this guy is also connected to three nodes again. This guy is also connected to three nodes again. This guy again finds better, better, better. So hypothetical, like it's a worst case scenario. It again will push three nodes, correct? Then we'll get this guy. This guy is again connected to three guys. Hypothetical again. Again, it will get smaller distances and it will again push three. So at the worst, like again, you'll get this. Again, you'll get this, which will again be connected to three guys, which will again push all of these three. Because three guys to three separate nodes, pushing it again and again. So can you see three plus three plus three, which is equivalent to n square nodes? Because everyone like it has something like n minus one plus n minus one plus n minus one keeps on pushing every time, every time. Can I say it's somewhere near about v square nodes is the worst heap size. Again, very hypothetical scenario will not happen, but I'm taking the extremist case. So can I say the heap size is nothing but v square. I can at the worst case, everyone is pushing everyone into the heap size. Okay, cool. Now, what is logarithmic of v square? Can I write it as two log v? I can, right? Now, what is v square? Is my question. That's the total number of nodes. So can I convert this into e? You might again ask how. Come on, yeah, simple. If one guy is connected to three, and everyone is connected to three, that is, like one guy is connected to n minus one nodes or v minus one nodes, right? And there are v nodes. There are v nodes. If everyone is having v minus one edges, how many in total they will have? V square edges which is the total number of edges, correct? If one guy is having V minus one, there are V nodes. V minus one into V is V square, which is the total number of nodes. I can simply convert V square into E. It'll be like E into two log V, which can be written as E log V, which is the time complexity, worst case, worst case, very hypothetical, worst case scenario of Dijkstra's algorithm. So guys, I hope I was able to explain you the time complexity of Dijkstra's algorithm. It did take me a lot of research because you can just scroll through YouTube. You'll, you'll just find people saying E log V. People will not derive or people will not explain you. So I hope I was able to. So just in case I was, please, it's an earnest request. Hit that like button. And if you're new to our channel, please, please, please do consider subscribing to us. And if you haven't checked out our DP series and the SD sheet, the links are in the description. Please make sure you check them out. And with this, I'll be wrapping up this video. Let's meet in some other video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care. Whenever your heart is broken.